Marcia. Hey, it's Marissa. I'm Nathan. With Let's Check More Journey. We're going to give you a tour of our current RV that we're living in. We've been living in this Class A for four months now. This huge window is so nice. Wait. You get a great oh, view going down the road. And then when you park somewhere with a great view as well. Tons of storage up here. This is where we keep Hensley's diaper bag. The thing about living in a small space is everything has its place. You have to make sure when you come in, it's really easy to throw your jackets or your bags down, your shoes. We have to put everything away or it gets crazy fast. This is our couch. It makes into a bed, so it's a great dual purpose, especially when people are staying over. It's nice that they have somewhere to stay. This is the kitchen area. Um, con, obviously we have to do our dishes now. No dishwasher, but um, we always have every dish clean that we need. I know when I had a dishwasher, it felt like I was constantly like, oh no, that I need that dish, but it's in the dishwasher or that pot or that pan. But um, So that's a good thing is we always have our dishes clean, but we do have to wash them by hand now. Uh, here is we keep our trash can dishes up here. Um, we don't need very many. It's like I said, we're washing them all the time. Uh, we have still have the Keurig, have to have that, and um, we move everything into storage containers that helps us uh, organize a little bit better. So this is a convection oven, so it's dual purpose. Um, there are some things I really like about it, and then some things that I don't, because um, when you're using it as an oven, obviously you can't use a microwave at the same time, and I found if you're cooking something for a while, an hour or so, it's hard to when you want to use your microwave or to heat something up, you can do that. But, I mean, it is pretty roomy. And it does it does a good job with its purpose. We have a three burner stove. Um, this is our fridge. We try to buy for the week and then throughout the week, we, by the end of the week, this will be pretty much empty. But in the freezer, it's not a whole lot of space. But um, we play Jenga pretty well with our <laughs> groceries at times. Um, this camper does have a lot of great storage. Uh, our pots and pans we keep under here. It's pretty deep. I really love this where it slides out. Easy access. Here's our TV and fireplace here. This is, it can be a desk or a table. This does extend out to sit four, but we just sit it for three because it's all we need. <laughs> We tried to work this video around, but it was it was snack time. This is the laundry room slash Hensley's closet. Um, so this is our all-in-one washer dryer combo. I love this. Didn't know they made such a thing. No more moving stuff back and forth from washer to dryer. It does only do small loads, but when you have a small amount of clothing, that's all we really needed anyway. So it's perfect for us. Um, and then this is Hensley's closet, so we've uh, got her clothes and then we organize her shoes and uh, pajamas and hair bows there. <laughs> okay, so this is what made an RV a little tough for us, with, especially with these Class A's, the one that you drive. They are not really built for family, like our last RV had that whole room of bunk beds. Um, you don't find that very much in these. These are meant for more like a couple traveling. But they had so many options that we really wanted in our traveling that we were determined to make this work. So we had to get a little creative. Um, <laughs> this was actually a wardrobe closet, like the cedar closet. So we come up with this idea um, of making, taking this closet out and making bump beds. The top is Hensley's bed. And we have created this um, on a hydraulic system. She sleeps in here and we put this, this is actually like a musician's blanket. It kind of muffles the sound, makes it dark in there. Um, and then we have this little fan for circulation for her and she loves this bed. She asks for bed. So this comes down and then it has latches on the side. So the bottom we wanted her to have her own space. Um, so we made this into a play area, and she actually 
She actually has a ball in here. Show me your room. Come on. So this is Hensley's room. She's going to give you a tour. So we actually do get in here and, and play with her quite a bit because she loves when we come and play with her in her room. Show, show your kitchen. What do you got in the oven? Oh, what is it? What are you cooking? Can you show them? You cooking turkey? Mm. So this girl loves her books. That takes up half her room. She drags us by the hand and has us come and sit in her room and read books with her. So she's got her books here, some extra toys here, and then she's got a TV that's pretty large for the room, makes it like a theater room. <laughs> so this was a concern of mine, is that the bathroom is right across from her. I was afraid that would keep her up, but it's actually worked out really great. Um, not too bad we don't wake her up. We have the shower here. It's not as big as our last one, but... So this is more storage that we have turned into um, our hamper. <laughs> uh, this is his, hers, and then this is Hensley's. And then we keep her diapers and wipes and some extra towels and beach towels down there. We don't have a bath and I worried about that with a little one because they love bath time. So we found this collapsible tub and we just sit it down in there and fill it up and she uh, gets to splash around in there. So this is our bedroom. Um, this one has a queen bed. We have two of these. I've showed these in a previous video about capsule wardrobe and how to have a small wardrobe. So that is our tour of our motor home. If you got questions or comments, let us know. <laughs> if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe.